Ariel Hawani post fight at UFC on Fox alongside Roland Delorme, who submitted Nick Deni tonight in the very first round. And Roland, you told me before we went on air here that you've been waiting for this a long time. I'm assuming you mean being interviewed on MMAfighting.com, right? Oh, of course, of course. Uh, I met you in general, but that's good too. Right, okay. Well, congratulations on a huge win on a very big stage. Um, how badly did he hurt you in the early stages of the fight? Because it looked like he rocked you with some big shots. Well, yeah, man, he caught me with some big shots. I, you know, I felt off balance a little bit, but that, that's that's the way I roll, man. I, I get rocked, I come back, and I win. I got, I, you gotta be, you gotta take, uh, you gotta be break a few eggs to make an omelet. You know, I don't mind taking a few lumps. You know, I don't mind because I knew. His, his strongest round was be his first round. Mm. So I knew his first round was be the most dangerous. And then, then after that, I, was, I, I thought I was be able to apply my game a lot better, get it in and out better, you know what I mean? Be, be first, be fast. But I knew the first round was going to be tumultuous. I knew it was going to be rough. And it was, you know, but, but I, you know, I, I bit my teeth down and you know, I, I went out there and I did what I had to do, man, and that's finish. You, su you submitted him with a rear naked choke. You set it up very well. Uh, talk to us about just how you did it uh, for those that are interested in, in the ground game and setting up those chokes. Well, you know, I, it, it all started off. I rocked him standing up. You know, I hit him, I hit him with a good punch. I noticed I started hitting him and I kept hitting him and I was like, okay, he's, he's in trouble. He's backing up. He's in trouble. So I just figured, stick it, stay on him, stay on him, stay on him, man. And then when we hit the ground, I seen that neck out and just, you know, I'm, I'm Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt. I've been, I've been grappling for 15 years now. You know, I, I, I see that neck, man, I take it. I take it home with me, you know, and, and that's, that's the way I fight. And I seen it, I set it up. I didn't even have my hooks in, really. My hooks weren't even in, but I, I wasn't going to try to adjust it. I knew there was 10 seconds left, so I just sunk it and squeezed as hard as I could, you know, for 10 seconds. As you're, you know, sort of applying the choke, are you aware that there are just now seconds, like four, five, six seconds left in the round? Honestly, I didn't think he was going to tap. I thought he was going to either go out or the round was going to end. I, I really didn't think he was going to tap. And then once he started tapping, I was just like... Thank God, you know what I mean? I'm getting my bonus, you know, like I was just happy to, you know, to get my win and, 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 and do it in an exciting fashion. And perhaps two bonuses, right? A win bonus and maybe a submission of the night bonus. Either or, you know, I need the money, man. I need the money, so give it to me, please. And what about the water? Your, your coach is got cut off the other week. So, so I need the money to put it back on, you know what I'm saying? What do you mean by that? In your house? Yeah, I got cut off. They cut what happened? Off. I didn't pay the bill. <laughs> I had having a fight in five months, you know what I mean? No, it's, it's, it's one of those things, you know, like, I, I came out here knowing, like, you know, this, I got to perform, you know, this, I got, I got everything right on this. I don't work, you know, I don't have a job, you know, this is what I do for a living. So I, when, I, when I show up, I got to fight hard. So it doesn't matter how many punches I take in a round, it doesn't matter how hurt I am, it doesn't matter how badly I'm bleeding, I'm always, always going to keep fighting until I'm brutally unconscious. You seem uh, somewhat emotional here talking about this. I mean, you've obviously gone through a lot, but is, is that accurate? Yeah, man, you know, it's fact, you know, I, I struggle every day to be here, you know what I mean? Just because I was on the Ultimate Fighter, you know, I got off, it doesn't mean I made a money, you know, I'm still, I'm still working, I'm still struggling, I'm still trying to make that paper, so I can, you know what I mean, put, you know, put diapers on my kid, pay the water at my house, you know what I mean? It's, it's not easy, you know? It's not easy being a fighter when you fight once every three months, once every five months, you know, but it's what I love to do, it's what I'm going to keep doing, and every time I get in the ring, I fight as hard as possible, so that way, you know, I can put food on my table and, and support my family. How long was the water out for? <laughs> Only a few days. Well, it's still pretty bad. Yeah, man, it sucks when you come home. Like seriously, you can't wait a week. Really? It was it was like a week out from my fight. I was like, come on, guys. Really? Really? Really, guys? But hey, they don't, they don't want to hear that that you're gonna get paid in a week. They want to get paid today. So you know. So I'm guessing when they called you to take this fight on short notice, you had no reservations, right? Oh yeah, I didn't even ask who I was fighting. I just said yes. You know what I mean? I was preparing for uh, a last minute fight because I had a good feeling that they're probably gonna put me on a you know last minute card. And um, man, I just I just I just try to stay in shape. You know, I try to stay in the gym and, you know, grit my teeth and bear it. You know, it's, it, gets, it, gets, it gets harder before it gets easier. You know, that's what I prepare for. You know, I prepare for the worst every time I go out there. And, you know, you prepare for the worst, good things happen. And today they did. Well, congrats, Roland. And uh, go take a hot shower. I think you deserve it, my friend. Sounds good to me, homie. Thanks very much, Ariel.